we're joined now by our hockey analyst, Marty Biron. And Marty, we know the Leafs started back-to-back -back tonight, but with how much Ilya Samsonov has struggled in his last few starts, do you agree with him getting the nod in Columbus? I'm a little surprised that he's getting the nod. Number one is because Martin Jones just beat the Columbus Blue Jackets last week. So, you know, with that history, right, recent, you probably would go back with Martin Jones. But when you look at the schedule, Friday night in Columbus, Saturday at home against the Carolina Hurricanes. I'm not saying that Columbus is the lesser of the two teams, but that's probably the easier matchup. And if you're going to spot Samson off a start, why not do it on the road when he doesn't have the pressure of the crowd? And if the first five minutes don't go so well, you hear the boo birds. So putting him in a road situation against a weaker opponent is probably the right part to go. But also, it's not like Martin Jones has been lighting it up. Like he lost the game against the Ottawa Senators. So if Martin Jones had been incredible, I wouldn't have been shying away from saying, hey, I'm playing Martin Jones both games and we'll give Samsonov a start later next week when he's got some practice time. But because they lost to the Ottawa Senators and I'm thinking this is probably the best spot to put Samsonov in. And then you readjust next week about how he plays tonight. But uh, I'm a little surprised, but I think it's the right fit for Samsonov to get back in the game. Okay, now this is interesting here. The Leafs have faced the Blackhawks, Sabres, Jackets and sends a total of nine times this season. They have just two wins. Marty, how do you explain their struggles against teams near the bottom of the standings? Okay, well, I'm going to point out to goaltending as number one. When you give up goals, five goals on 19 shots, six goals on 35 shots, that's not going to be easy to win when you give up that many goals. Number two, I think all teams get up to play the Maple Leafs. Even if you're not from Toronto or you didn't grow up a Leafs fan, it is the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're one of the better team in the, in, in the NHL, one of the most historic organizations. You always get up to play those teams. Uh, and number three, well, maybe it's a little coincidence, right? Like, it's not every day that, you know, the Leafs are going to lose to bad teams. And maybe the second half of the season is a complete flip when you look at their record against bad teams. But if you don't have goaltending against the bad teams, you're giving them hope. If you get down to nothing on two bad goals at the start of the game, you're giving bad teams hope. And that is what the goaltending and the Leafs have been able to do to the lesser team in the NHL. So I'll point out to goaltending as number one, the fact that everybody gets up to play Toronto as number two, and a little coincidence as number three, their uh, record against bad teams. Well, we'll have to wait and see how this stretch goes because four of Toronto's next six games come against some of the weakest teams in the league. Marty Biron, thank you for joining us. 7-Eleven That's Hockey is brought to you by 7-Eleven. Get meals, groceries, essentials, and of course, Slurpee delivered.